Okay. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the Talking Circle Show. Today we're going to be talking about how indigenous music has come into modern times. We actually have a very special guest, researcher Geraldine Carrier. Show us some love, everyone. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. Thanks for having me. Yes, so what would you like to be talking with us about today? Uh, well, basically, um, I'm here to uh, share my information of my researchers and I. Uh, we have been doing some work in regards to indigenous music, specifically the historical view of it and how it has been incorporated into modern music today, as well as uh, into different uh, music genres. So. Great, and so what kind of instruments have you found that have gone into modern times? Uh, well, we were looking specifically at four different instruments, uh, the uh, drum, as well as the Australian didgeridoo, and also the rattle and the flute. Okay, and so I understand that you will be showing us some videos today, and what will those be about? Uh, well, basically it's just going to cover you know, the research that we have done, as well as looking at the historical aspects and again the modern uh, versions of the indigenous music. So, Great. Okay, we're going to be cutting to commercial, and after that, we will go into the videos. Thank you. The drum. Native American drums are probably the most recognizable Native American instruments among American Indians and non-Native people alike. Drums for generations have been the center of Native lifestyle, forming what has become the foundation of religion and spirituality, as well as social gatherings where a powwow drum is the center stage. Historically, drums have been used in various ways to connect with a higher power known to most as the Great Spirit. The beat of the drum represented the heart of the earth and of the people, and playing the drum brought the world back into balance. The drum was primarily played by men and in some instances by women. It is known that women were initially given the drum. The drum is played at powwows, round dances, and sweat lodges, and in most ceremonial events. Traditionally, the instrument sounded like this. Presently, it sounds like this. Money off our land and we ain't even on the guest list. Carry on traditions of a racist ass pilgrim. And I know you really love it when my people play the victim. Cause it makes it seem like we're falling under pressure. The didgeridoo is a wind instrument developed by indigenous Australians. It is about 1,500 years old. It is primarily played to accompany ceremonial dancing and singing. Only men are allowed to play during these times. Women can play, but must be in private settings. Some extra info we found out was some health benefits. The didgeridoo helps with snoring and obstructive sleeping by strengthening the upper airways and reducing their tendency to collapse during the sleep. For modern music, it has came into black metal sound, jazz, and other rap and acoustic sounds. Hope you enjoy the next videos. Traditionally, the instrument sounded like this. Presently, it sounds like this. Coming over to play. The rattle. Rattles are the only instrument found in every musical or ritual tradition around the world. While the physical forms of the rattles are vary greatly, the prominence and uses of them are highly consistent. Most cultures have had some form of the rattle that is given to infants as a toy or a protective magical tool. In North America, all include rattles as powerful instruments that are used for ritual purposes, which can speak in the voice of the surrounding nature spirits or deities. Rattles are made from wide varieties of material, most influenced by Native American rawhide rattles. They also make rattles from ostrich and emu eggs, turtle shells, and much more. Traditionally, the instrument sounded like this. Presently, it sounds like this. The Native American Flute 
This flute was made of cane, such as river cane, also hardwood as walnut or softwood cider. How they thought the flute came to be was woodpeckers pecked holes in a hollow branch while searching for termites. When the wind blew through the holes, people heard the music. There are several other stories. The flute has been reported to be the third oldest instrument in the world. Also, the flute can be made out of eagle bones, and they are used at powwows. Traditionally, the instrument sounded like this. Presently, it sounds like this. Thank you guys for watching the Talking Circle show. Hope you've enjoyed our special researcher, Geraldine Carrier. Thank you so much. We've learned lots today. Thank you so much for having me. Tune in next Tuesday to watch how Idle No More has swept the nation.